Your father has been guarding the eggs for almost a week. You hatch out of your egg and see your watchful father circling the nest. Among arapaimas, only the male remains to look after the hatchlings. As you lie there in the murky Amazon water, other eggs hatch. All the fry start huddling near your father's head. His dark head acts as a beacon for safety as it provides you with camouflage, a technique that's crucial for hiding from predators. The Amazon River is murky and very scarcely oxygenated during the dry months of June to October. Arapaimas choose this time of year for mating to make sure the fry don't have to deal with large predators or get lost in strong currents. To deal with the oxygen problem, evolution has been generous to arapaimas. You have gills as well as lungs. Well, the lungs are technically modified swim bladders, but they work just fine. The only problem is you have to resurface every 10 minutes. Your father does that, and every fry follows. He guides you toward prey-dense zones like backwaters and lagoons. These areas support high densities of zooplankton and insects. You can safely hunt here while your father stays alert for potential dangers. You can't swim well yet, and you have to resurface frequently. Herons, egrets, and other birds like kingfishers occupy these shallow waters, waiting to grab arapaima fry. So you need to quickly breathe and retreat. You don't need to be very fast. Just outswim your siblings and you get to live until you surface again. Even though the water is shallow, it's not completely devoid of dangers. Arapaimas share their habitat with caimans, snakes, and big catfish. Adults rarely have to worry about these thanks to their armor-like bodies. Arapaima scales are among the toughest in the fish world, so piranhas and caimans go after fry that get left behind. As long as you stick close to your father, nothing can harm you. Adult males drive off predators by slamming into them with sudden, quick thrusts of their tails. Their scales are flexible and can absorb the energy of the slams without breaking under pressure. Your father aggressively headbutts and tail slaps any catfish that comes in close proximity. Weeks pass. From about November to May, heavy rainfall across the Amazon region causes the Amazon River and its tributaries to swell. As rivers rise, they overflow their banks, flooding into forests and lakes. The flood pulse renews the ecosystem, bringing oxygen-rich fresh water and opens new areas for spawning and feeding. You have been feeding on crustaceans and small plankton all this while and have grown quite big, about 10 centimeters. Most of your siblings have already left. Being about eight weeks old now, you decide it's time too. You patrol shallow, food-rich areas like flooded forest edges, lagoons, and slow-moving streams. Arapaimas are suction feeders. You open your mouth rapidly, creating a vacuum that sucks in prey along with the surrounding water. It's fast, precise, and ideal for catching moving targets. The rainy season floods forests and brings huge amounts of insect life. You take advantage by foraging among leaves, roots, and submerged plants. As you grow, you feed on small fish and frogs. You grow at an alarming rate, reaching over three feet within your first year. You don't need to be afraid of predators now. Predators ignore prey over three feet because they are too fast to catch and too strong to handle. Your armor-like scales also make biting difficult. By the time you are one year old, you have already become the apex predator of your ecosystem. Sometimes you lurk near the edges of the river, waiting to strike animals that get too close. You lunge at unsuspecting chickens or ducks, crushing them with your suction force and muscular tongue. Apart from those, Eels, catfish fry, and arowanas form a major part of your diet. Some more years pass by. You have reached full maturity now. It's time to find a mate. The dry season is starting. You build a nest and circle around it, waiting eagerly for a female to pass by. You lunge out of the water and gulp air loudly, hoping that will grab attention. Soon enough, a female comes close. You start swimming with powerful twists and maneuvers hoping to impress her. Your antics seem to have worked as she starts swimming close alongside you. Congratulations, you've passed the courtship test. Your partner lays her eggs and just leaves without saying goodbye. 
Now you have to take care of them just like your father did for you all those years ago. You hope you can be as good a parent as he was. Our Apimus were once heavily overfished. Their size and slow maturity period made them vulnerable. It's illegal to hunt wild Arapaima without a license or outside of regulated zones. Today, Brazil and other countries have strict protections in many regions, especially in national parks and indigenous reserves. Arapaimas aren't just fish in the Amazon. They are living myths, often tied to lessons about respect, humility, and harmony with nature. Through stories and legends, local people pass down cultural values while reinforcing a spiritual connection to the river and its creatures.